Good day everyone, you're watching Raytube Fixes. On today's video, it's going to be a quick tutorial on how to fix in case if the download option is not available on Windows Store. Now, the first thing uh, what you will have to remember is um, now you will have to make sure that your computer restarted after uh, downloading or installing updates. So it is more likely that if you have not restarted your computer after downloading or installing the Windows update, the first thing you will ha I would suggest you to do is uh, I would recommend you to shut down the computer completely by clicking on the by doing a right click on the start button go to shutdown and use the shutdown option shut down the computer for a couple of minutes and restart it and see if the download option is available in case if the download option is not available the next option for you would be to um, uh, run check the Windows uh, store services are running in order to check that you will have to press Windows and R key simultaneously on your keyboard, which will open up the run window. Other way is uh, if you go to the search box, go ahead and type services.mse and uh, open the services window. Now, this is nothing but it will show up all the services which are uh, running on the computer so you will uh, you will find it in alphabetical order so you will have to uh, look for windows store services so right here in case if it is set uh, go to right click on properties in case it is stop uh, what i would suggest you is to set up as manual and click on start try to reboot the computer and uh, once your computer is rebooted check if the windows store uh, option is available in case if that doesn't work the next option would be to open the chrome browser and run the windows troubleshooter i will also mention the uh, download link for windows troubleshooter so so what this troubleshooter will do is it will fix a problem related to apps from microsoft store so all you have to do is you have to click on the run troubleshooter it will download this uh, the cap file from the microsoft website all you have to do is you will have to double click on the setup in case if you get user access control prompt you can click on yes and continue click on next uh, it will try to detect problem on your windows store so basically what this will do is it will try to reset the windows cache so you will have to click on reset windows cache and um, this will take a couple of minutes based on the performance of the computer so once your windows uh, store uh, cache has been reset what you can do is uh, you can try launching windows store and see if you are able to uh, download if you're able to get the download or install option in uh, or get option in um, Windows Store so in case if this works well and good in otherwise uh, what you can also check is uh, you can go ahead and try to reboot the computer again and see if your Windows uh, Store uh, Windows uh, download or install option is available. So this is how you can um, go ahead and check if the download option has uh, been available on your Windows Store. And another thing what I would also suggest you is also check if the download or install option is available for the other apps. In case if it is available for the other apps, it is more likely that particular app is not compatible with your uh, Windows or with your computer or other reason would be that um, you know it may not be uh, that particular app might be available on store but it is not available in your country or a region so that's the reason um, that might be the more like uh, reason that you are not able to find the download or install option so as you see on the screen the once you run the windows troubleshooter the windows store would automatically open in case if i click on any apps on um, the windows store i should be getting uh, the download and install option so this is how you can go ahead and down uh, can go ahead and uh, download or install uh, or apps from your windows store i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure you hit the like button and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching you have a great day